What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the nerf that's being tested right now in the puppet test server for Diamond's Victory. A lot of us thought this was coming to the game considering Diamond's Victory was a great set and most everyone was using it on pretty much every single magic class in the game. So we figured it was probably going to get nerfed. Of course I use it on my front bar so I use a staff and jewelry. I never did make the jewelry gold. I just left it purple because of this reason. Usually anything in this game that's really good I never make gold uh, especially if it's jewelry because when it comes to that point, I kind of hate wasting the money. The other pieces, yes, it's fine. But when it comes to jewelry, I kind of hate wasting it. And I pretty much figured, I think everybody in the community figured that Diamond's Victory was going to get nerfed somewhat. It's still going to be best in slot, in my opinion. And I cannot tell you this until I definitely get the uh, ability to be able to play and test things for myself. And of course, we won't have that for a while here on console until the update is released. And that is, of course, too, if they don't change anything else with this. But I still think it's going to be viable on several classes and probably best in slot still on several classes. But some of the other classes is probably not going to be so good anymore. If you look at exactly what Diamond's Victory does, of course, you know, you have your, uh, your regular kind of stats here, your weapon and spell damage, your crit chance. But the big uh, benefit and bonus to this is the five piece set uh, bonus, which is while in combat using an ability of range or while in combat using an ability of range for over seven meters and for using an ability of range with less than seven meters, you get that range supremacy or melee supremacy, which gives you 422 weapon and spell damage uh, to your damage over time and ranged attacks and your damage over time and melee attacks. This is very easy right now to keep up 100% of the time. Now, of course, I'm using the kilt and a slime crawl or slime crawls guys just head and then of course monster uh, mother sorrow body uh, you know only one monster piece with this and it hits very hard it works very very well um now the thing about this that a lot of people kind of figured the reason it was going to get nerfed is because that uptime is so easy to keep you know kind of going all the time now what's going to happen with the nerf is your light attacks your uh heavy attacks and your bashing will not proc this anymore so most people were pretty much able to use any abilities they had with that light attack weaving that uh you know heavy attacks bashing and keep the setup all the time this is going to be kind of a big change for some classes because the only way that it's going to work now kind of what the dev said they wanted or how they wanted it to work is be pretty much based off your abilities so your abilities are what is going to proc it so if you look at things like the Magic Necro, Blast Bones procs both melee and range supremacy, so it will be fine with that because most people spam Blast Bones more than every five seconds. Uh, so they're going to be able to keep it up. Now, a lot of people uh, spam Blast Bones every two or three seconds, so you'll be able to have that range and melee supremacy up all the time. The same can be said for things like um, the Magic Warden. The Warden has a lot of abilities that will proc uh, this all the time as well. Same kind of concept as you know the Magic uh, Necro. Now, when it comes to the Magic Sork, I still think you're going to be able to get away with running this as a set because if you're like me, now everyone may not run the same thing I do, but I run, of course, Crystal Frags as my spammable and Mage's Wrath kind of as a execute. And we all know Mage's Wrath is not the greatest execute. So what I'm probably going to do is drop the Mage's Wrath and then add in another ability, which of course is in the Psychic Order skill line here, which some of you may or may not have unlocked yet. And that is going to be Elemental Weapon. The great thing about Elemental Weapon is Elemental Weapon procs ranged and melee supremacy with every cast. So if you use this as your spammable and you're going to be, if you're using two pets and everything like I am, you're going to be on your spammable more than not. So you're going to be able to keep this up. So you're not going to have to worry about the light attack weaving and things like that proccing your Diamonds Victories. Uh, you know, the both bonuses. The uh, Elemental Weapon will do that. And that way I can just drop, like I said, I can drop my... Mage's Wrath, don't really have to worry about having an execute anymore. Just use for frags when it is propped and then spam elemental, elemental weapon. And that will allow you to be able to keep the Diamond's Victory bonus up at all times. So I think those three classes, the Mag Sork, the Mag Necro, and the Mag Warden, I think is still going to be best in slot. That is if they don't make any more changes to it. They may make some more changes to it in the few weeks kind of left in the PTS. We're not sure about that. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But I think for things like your... Uh, your magic uh, night blade classes. I really love this on my night blade, but now it's really not going to be worth it because once you're in execute with a night blade and everyone uses execute on a night blade, you're never going to really be able to proc both of these and keep them up. So you're going to be losing damage unless maybe you're uh, a vampire and using, you know, either one of the morphs, blood for blood or whatever the other one is right now that I cannot think of the name of the opposite morph for blood for blood. I just went completely blank. 
But anyway, I think you might get away with it for that. But I think most people don't really use vampires anymore. Maybe unless they're playing Rock Grove uh, on vet just for, you know, that one missed form ability. But I think for the most part, if you're a mag sork, if you're a mag necro, if you're a mag warden, you're still going to be able to find ways to use Diamond's Victory and probably still going to hit as hard as anything else you can get in the game. If you're some of the other classes or you run some different things on those three classes we just talked about, you may want to look at something else. You may want to find some other sets to use because this is probably not going to be the best set unless it is run correctly on those three classes. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know, do you use Diamond's Victory? Have you tried it yet? If you have not, you really have missed out on a, a set that is very, very good. And in my opinion, with the kilt, with a one-piece monster set, is very easy to keep up, and it's very easy to be able to allow yourself to do a lot of damage once you figure out a good rotation with it. And I really do think it's still going to be very viable and probably still best in slot on those three classes we talked about as long as your setup is correct. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And the last thing I kind of want to say is I finally got a PS5. This is being recorded here on PS5, one of the first PS5 videos I've done. Uh, I finally got one for retail, what I've been trying to do the whole time for the last year or a little over a year that I've been looking for one. And I finally got uh, one for retail. And I have been enjoying the way, uh, you know, the, the enhancements we get here on ESO uh, for the PS5 version. The only thing I don't like is the crashing problems. But anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're still having crashing problems on your end for the PS5 as well, or the PS5 version as well. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment, like I said, with your thoughts about the whole Diamonds Victory uh, kind of nerf or kind of changes. Hopefully, this will be all they do to it. We'll kind of have to wait and see. If you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure you check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.